this in-service video will provide you with basic instructions on manipulation of the circular staplers from Panther Healthcare. For more information, please refer to the instructions for use included in the package. Description The detachable anvil assembly is located at the distal end of the instrument. The purse string notch and the locking spring are directly behind the anvil and are integral to the anvil shaft. This shaft fits over the retractable trocar. Note the area marked in red below the trocar. The cartridge and the circular knife are located at the distal end of the curved instrument shaft. The anamostic lip is formed by the area between the cartridge and the circular knife when the instrument is fired. The gap setting indicator is distal to the firing handle. The safety lock is located in the crotch of the firing handle. The wing nut is located at the proximal end of the instrument. Method of Operation Please carefully study the information leaflet contained within the package. To remove the red shipping tab, open the instrument by turning the wing nut counterclockwise two revolutions. Purse string sutures are first placed in the location of the anastomosis. Open the instrument using the wing nut until the red tying area on the trocar is visible. Remove the detachable anvil assembly to expose the trocar. Retract the trocar to slightly below the staple cartridge face by rotating the wing nut clockwise. Insert the detachable anvil assembly into the lumen and secure the purse string securely on the anvil shaft within the purse string notch. It is important to ensure that the purse string sutures are tied snugly against the anvil shaft at the appropriate location. With the trocar retracted, insert the instrument up to the closed lumen. Turn the wing nut to fully extend the trocar and gently rotate the instrument to pierce the tissue while holding the wing nut. Push the tissue down the trocar shaft until the red area on the shaft can be seen. Take extreme care to ensure that the trocar is visible at all times to prevent personal injury or inadvertent trauma to the adjacent structures. The detachable anvil can now be reassembled to the instrument by sliding the anvil shaft over the trocar and pushing it until the unit snaps into a fully seated position. Exercise care to ensure that the locking springs are not clamped or gripped during the procedure to reattach the anvil assembly. During the process of retracting the anvil to close the instrument, ensure that no extraneous tissue has been included. The wing nut should be turned clockwise to close the instrument. As the final wing nut adjusting turn is approached, the red line will move into the middle of the green area in the gap setting indicator. Unacceptable staple formation may result if there is excess tissue on one side, which may in turn result in staple line leakage. It is very important to ensure that the instrument is not fired if the red line is not in the middle range of the green gap setting indicator. To fire the instrument, draw out the red safety lock tab back toward the wing nut and seat it in the body of the instrument. The red safety lockout tab should not be released until the instrument is ready to be fired and the red line is in the middle of the green range. Squeeze the firing handle in one stroke using firm steady pressure to fire the instrument taking care that the firing handle is squeezed fully to ensure proper staple formation and tissue transaction. When the firing cycle is successfully completed, the surgeon will feel a reduced trigger pressure and hear a crunch. After firing, release the firing handle, allowing it to return to its original position, and replace the red safety lockout tab. Ensure that the circular knife is retracted into the shaft. The wing nut should be turned counterclockwise four full turns to create sufficient space between the cartridge and anvil, and then remove the instrument. Opening the twist knob, four full turns will allow the anvil to tilt on its side for easy removal through the anastomosis. Gently pull and remove the instrument straight out of the new anastomosis. For the Panther Healthcare Circular Stapler without tilt-top anvil. For easy removal, 
The instrument should then be opened by turning the wing nut counterclockwise one half to three quarter revolutions. To withdraw the open instrument, gently apply rearward traction while simultaneously employing reciprocal rotations through a 90 degree arc. Position the tip of the closed instrument at the correct angle relative to the anastomosis to facilitate the process of removal. Always inspect the anastomotic staple line for hemostosis and check the completed anastomosis for integrity and leakage. Metal clips, staples, or sutures contained in the area to be stapled may affect the integrity of the anastomosis. Corrective action, if required, may include the use of sutures or electrical cauterization. Inspect the donuts by removing the detachable anvil assembly, cutting washer and donuts from within the circular knife. Examine the integrity of the donuts, which should be intact, and include all tissue layers. If donuts are not complete, the anastomosis should be carefully checked for leakage and appropriate repairs made. The red safety should be engaged before removing the washer and donuts from within the circular knife. Panther circular staplers are single-use instruments and are available in five sizes to permit proper matching of instrument to diameter of the lumen. The packaging and the detachable anvil heads are color-coded for easy size recognition. Yellow is 24 millimeters. White is 26 millimeters. Blue is 29 millimeters. Green is 32 millimeters. And purple is 34 millimeters. Features and benefits. Tilt top anvil. Patent design. Easier removal. Minimizing the potential for tissue trauma. Inside and outside safety. This patent design can prevent misfiring and make the operation quicker, easier, and safer. Three staple heights. A staple of a particular leg length has one proper crimp height for a perfect B formation. We provide three staple heights, 4.5 millimeters, 4.8 millimeters, and 5.0 millimeters for perfect B-shaped staple formation in different tissue thickness. Five diameters, more choice, no need to compromise. Panther Healthcare Medical Equipment.